Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's Spur video. Day 10 will take us to the 15th of June. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the Exceller GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe I'll try to go the weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS meter at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the beginning of July. I'll get on that for you in a second, just to say that the first video today was our 6am UK weather forecast. And uh, we've also released a little update for Le Mans, Isle of Wight Festival, Download Festival as well. Um, so check out those two videos if you'd like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. We just hit 15.9k. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, for getting us 15,900 subscribers. Um, 16k coming very close now. So uh, if you could give us a sub, tell your friends and family to subscribe and help get us, get us to 16,000 subscribers, that would be incredible and amazing. Thank you so much, everybody. And also incredible and amazing is the response to the charity fundraiser that uh, we've been doing over the past week or two. So uh, we've been uh, raising money and awareness for Rainbow's Hospice. They are uh, a children's hospice uh, providing vital care for babies, children and young people with life-limiting and terminal conditions in the East Midlands region. And uh, yeah, we did the charity live stream like uh, a week last Saturday. And uh, we've been raising money, awareness, similar videos as well over the past few weeks and, and absolutely incredible response has been overwhelming and unbelievable in fact i can tell you that we have now reached two thousand pounds so at that point i think we will say um job done on the fundraiser and uh, i thank you all so 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 incredibly much for the kindness and the generosity of the support that you have given for for this event you know and endeavor and what a phenomenal uh, amount of money. You know, when I started the, the fundraiser, I set the first target at £500. I had to lift that to £750, but I had to lift it again to £1,000. We've actually gone £1,000 over the the final target uh, to two k So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much. I know that everybody at Rainbows is highly appreciative um, and grateful, you know, uh, for, for your generosity and your support. We've done this all in the memory uh, by mum, Mrs P, um, who who passed away on the 27th of May last year. And so on the 27th of May this year, we did the charity live stream in her memory, which was probably the, the best thing I've ever done on uh, YouTube, you know, in my 11-year career. I will always remember the charity live stream. And, um, and, yeah, so we've come to the end of a fundraiser now, but I thank you all so very much. And... Um, it's been amazing. It's just been absolutely incredible. And, and the Gals Lobby's community is always unbelievably kind, generous, and, you know, always supportive uh, of me and my family and, 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 and what we're doing. So, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart and also from Rainbows as well. And I'm sure we'll chat more about this on live stream tonight. So I will be live streaming um, at 8 p.m. tonight. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll have a chat about how the charity event has gone, I'm sure, on the stream. But thank you so much, everybody, for, uh, for, for, for you know, donating all of this for Rainbows and the incredible work that they are doing and helping to support that incredible work. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Right, okay, let's have a look at searching temperature then. So I don't think that's updated. I'm doing this a little bit earlier than normal because I've got a hospital appointment later on. I'm just having a check up with my eyes. <laughs> so um, nothing serious, but uh, I've got to get the video done. So I don't think I'm going to get an update uh, with this um, for today. So I'll bring you an update of it tomorrow when I do tomorrow's 10th, 14 day. But up to the 3rd of uh, June, we are sitting at 13.2, which is 0.9 of a degree uh, below the 6.1990 average. These are the 500 millibar high dominant flow charts from Penn State University. Uh, we've got the uh, ECMWF on the top and the GFS is on the bottom. 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, is an area in the atmosphere where high pressure, low pressure, being moved around by a jet stream running above. Blue extrapolates to low pressure, from average heights, low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. Um, these are for the 7 to 10 day time frame. You can see it with the ECM, placing a large area of high pressure in the North Atlantic and into the UK and Ireland as well, and much of Northern Europe actually, so that brings the wind in from an east to south east direction. It's mostly dry and high pressure dominated, but I have to say, there's some lower pressure in the Atlantic that might be threatening 
some showery conditions into the south and west, but overall high pressure is still in the ascendancy there with 7 to 10 day time frame. The GFS is very similar, actually, perhaps a little bit further south with the high pressure, but basically a large area of high pressure dominating in the North Atlantic and across the North West Europe with low pressure out into the Atlantic. Again, that will bring lots of dry, fine, uh, warm, settled conditions with it. Um, these are the uh, GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks, red light is 30 year upper air temperature average ball leads. Um, now you can see we're starting off around to a little bit above average at the moment. We will find those upper air temperatures warming further though uh, through the first week of June and into the second week of June. So going up to around 10 Celsius, between 10 and 15 Celsius at 850 HPA becoming uh, really quite warm, maybe even hot uh, for, for a while around the, uh, around the second week of the month. Possibly a little bit of a cool down taking place into the second half of June, but still above average. It does look a very warm um, couple of weeks to come, I have to say. Precipitation-wise, lots of dry weather as well over the next few days, but it'll gradually start getting more unsettled through the second week and into the third week of June. Around some pretty big precipitation spikes in there as well. So, um, you know, showers breaking out, possibly further storms uh, included, included with that as well. And uh, so, yes, um, we may see things trending wet. It's been very dry for the past uh, few weeks, but we may start to see things trending wetter as we go further on into June. But staying warm, so good growing weather, um, I think. Temperature anomalies from the 5th to the 13th of June are coming out around to a little bit above average. Quite a warm week to come. And precipitation anomalies from the 5th to the 13th of June drier than normal. Remember, any change to wetter weather is like in the second week of the month, really. Latest wind from Matt from Earth, Northschool.net shows that we're still bringing the wind from the east northeast today. We've dragged more cloud in from the east, uh, from, you know, into the east from the North Sea today. Um, we'll keep these east northeast winds going for a few more days, but then the wind will start to turn more east southeasterly. That should bring more sunshine to eastern regions and, uh, and also warmer temperatures, so we should start to lose this chilly. Northeast of the feel, I think, something by the weekend. Right, so this is how you can make your row is looking for uh, midnight on Thursday with high pressure right over top of the country, bring loads of dry, fine, and warm weather with it. That carries on into the weekend. Winds gradually turning into a little bit more of an east south east though, so warmer air coming in from off the continent. And uh, that takes us through to uh, Monday, 12th of June, as far as we get to with the UK, bet Euro with high pressure to our north and northeast. Just some slightly lower pressure over France, beginning to uh, maybe threaten some heavy showers and downpours, perhaps into our southern southeastern regions. I can't again with the high pressure dominating weather in the country on Thursday, then on into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, high pressure just is in, in control. There's no little say about that. The high pressure is stronger there than it is with the uh, UK Met. So I would before, but up to Monday, there's not going to be much in the way of heavy showers and thunderstorms with ICOM. Um, but uh, maybe a few showers around, but basically high pressure keeps it dry and very warm there. And then we've got a GFS midnight run once again with that high pressure in control in the ascendancy through the end of the week into the weekend as well. Very gradually we start to see the high pressure weakening a little bit allowing this sort of shallow trough to start pushing up from the south. That might bring some heavy downpours and uh, a bit of thunder with it. But essentially high pressure, the ridge from the Azores into northern Europe continues through the extreme range, just right at the very end of the GFS midnight rub. Maybe a hint, but it's starting to turn a little bit more unsettled from the Atlantic. And then the GFS 6Z, once more with that big area of high pressure over the country on Thursday, bringing lots of dry weather with it. That carries on into the weekend. On into next week. The high pressure weakens enough to start allowing you know, some showery shots to begin to develop both from the west uh, and also from the south. They might threaten some heavy downpours uh, into the early part of next week. But beyond that, the high pressure actually strengthens again from the uh, Azores. And we've got some really quite hot air sitting just to ourselves with that as well. Again, right at the very end of the GFS 6, a bit of a hint of something cooler and uh, a little bit more unsettled coming in. That's the 21st of June, very long way out, of course, over two weeks away.
If you enjoy the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals and We thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. We're on the grind to 16K. Thank you so much, everybody, for getting us to 15.9K. Um, right, here we go, then. GM, high pressure once more dominates the weather. On Thursday, the high pressure still in control in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and on into next week as well. Large air high pressure keeping throat dry, settled, and warm. And then the ECM, um, also lots of dry and warm weather, but gradually becoming slacker with the gradients of the over weekend and into. Uh, the beginning of next week. So for more southern areas, we might start to see some heavy showers of first all breaking out. High pressure is drifting a bit further northwards with the east yeah, but still dominating in the northern half of the country. I doubt there's much rain available there for the north, but for the south, we might start to see some heavy showers of first all beginning to develop. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tobetro.com. Not much going on over the next few days, but by the weekend, and into next week, we do start to see the first signs of some heavy showers of all beginning to start trundling up the uh, western side. And they begin to get a little bit more widespread into early next week as well. So but by the time we get through the 13th of June, we've actually got quite a lot of storms, particularly so for the western regions and in the south. Interestingly, not much getting into the north and the northeast though. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 15th of June. 27 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressures in just the north. Struck mostly dry and warm with winds in from the east. So we've got 24 with high pressure around Greenland and Iceland. Still dominating the weather, but just a little bit cooler with that winds coming in from like more of a northeasterly direction. But basically, they're still bringing a lot of high pressure domination, I have to say, in the... Um, you know, in the 10-day time frame. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 20th of June, 22 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressing just to the north, mostly dry and fire winds probably coming in from the southerly southeast. It should be very warm with that too. 22 with high pressure just out to our west. Again, mostly dry and fire, but could be a little bit cooler with winds from like a northeasterly direction. And then seven with a large ridge from the Atlantic into western and also Northern Europe bringing lots of dry and settled conditions and warm conditions with it too. CFSB2 finally, because a 500 millibar height and is broken down into week periods, the first week period will take us from the 5th to the 11th of June. The coming week is dominated by high pressure over the country, so mostly dry and fine weather ahead. Week 2 is going to be the 12th to the 18th of June. Again, high pressure in the North Atlantic, reaching into Northern Europe, low pressure in the central part of the Atlantic. Winds probably a little bit more southeasterly with that, so it should be very warm, but the low pressure to the south might be starting to bring the risk of heavy downpours into more southern parts of the country. Week 3 brings the high pressure back, though. This is the 19th to 25th of June. The high pressure builds again across the west of Europe, through mostly dry and very warm. And then week four, look at this, it's the 26th of June to 2nd of July, high pressure centre just over to the east of the country, winds coming up from the south with that. That could be very warm or hot as we come to the end of June and into the beginning of July, low pressure being pinged back into the Atlantic once again. That could be a heat wave um, at the end of June and into July. But, of course, it's a long way off, four weeks away. So, <laughs> don't take it too literally. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you show everybody doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't get to your friends about Gals Worth Vids. And we thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. I'll just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. We'll have a 6 m UK weather forecast, the uh, EC 30 day SA forecast for Europe. And there will also be a 10 to 14 day as well. I'm live streaming tonight at 8 pm. So if you're around the channel for 8, then check in and uh, we'll have a bit of a chat. And uh, we'll have a look at 12 Z as well uh, with that, as well as some long range. So I'll see you a little bit later on live for this video, though. That's all for now. And thanks for watching.